Okay, here's today's problem. An 80 kilogram block rests on a horizontal plane. Find the magnitude of the force vector P required to give the block an acceleration of 2.5 meters per second squared to the right. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the block and the plane is mu, that's supposed to be a mu, equals 0 0.25. That's a mu. Let's start out by drawing a picture here of this the problem. Okay, I've uh, drawn out the a picture of the, the the problem here, and so I left this out before. But the the force vector p here is at a thirty degree angle, so the direction of p is at an angle of thirty degrees to the horizontal. So there's a force uh, p pushing down on the the 80 kilogram block and we know the direction of P but we don't know the magnitude and so the problem is find the magnitude of the force so let's do that and we as always we want to start with some strategy so let's write down our strategy here uh, what we want to do is write all the forces on on the block so that's our first step write all the forces and once we write all the forces what do we do well we're just going to set it equal to the mass times the acceleration simple enough so let's start well we've got we've got the weight we've got a normal force um, and so these two, of course, balance out. The block isn't flying. The weight is equal to the normal force. So the normal force is applied by the surface onto the 80 kilogram block. We, we're going to have some uh, friction force. We're considering friction here. And then we've got P. So those are the forces we've got. Uh, we we gonna we're going to sum up all those forces, and then just as uh, step two of the strategy, we're going to set it equal to the mass times the acceleration, and so that's going to be I can depict it this way. It's just our eighty kilogram block. Uh, with the mass times the acceleration. It's easiest to do this by the components. So we'll first do the y components. So let's write down the y components of the force vectors. Um, summing up all these, well, also I'll write it this way, the sum of the y forces. And we know that's going to equal to the mass times the acceleration in the y direction, which is 0. And so what do we have here? Well, we've got n. So we've got n, let me write that again, n um, acting up, and we're going to make that the positive direction. So we've got w counteracting it, that's the weight. Those two, of course, kind of cancel out. Um, and then we've got p here, but we only take the y component of p, and so that's p sine of 30 degrees. we set that one equal to zero. Now we know how, what W is from the initial problem. It's 80 kilograms. That's the mass. And so it's the mass times gravity. That's what the weight is defined as and that's in meters per second squared and so the weight is a number and it's 785 newtons now I can use uh, the weight and plug it back in here and then s write this equation so just moving from here down to here um, we've got n equals p sine 30 degrees 
plus 785 newtons. Okay, then let's write the x components and I'm going to try I'm going to do this one in blue. So we've got the sum of all the x components is going to equal to the mass times the acceleration. The x component of the acceleration, right? And so let's go back up and look at that and the x components we have um, we have to write we've um, let's go back up here you can see the these are the x components um, and so we can write them this way we've got the p cosine 30 degrees that's the x component of p and we've got that um, we're going to have that in the positive direction and then we've got minus the friction force that's what this this F here was the friction force and that was we said that was 0 0.25 times the normal force um, let's look at that okay that's going to equal the mass times the acceleration here uh, friction let's work on that a bit here and we know that from before the magnitude of the friction force is equal to the coefficient of kinetic friction mu k times the normal force now we we calculated n the normal force up here So those are the same ends. Don't get confused with this. This is the unit Newton. Um, and we can do this now. Okay, so let's calculate. We have P cosine 30 degrees. Minus 0 0.25 times the normal force is equal to the mass which was 80 kilograms times the acceleration and remember the acceleration let me scroll back up here was given in the problem right here as 2.5 meters per second squared to the right and so that's going to be a, a positive 2.5 the to the right gives the sign okay so let's write that down 5 meters per second squared okay um, and so we can just let's see substitute in here we've got this one again this n This n is the same as this n, so I'm going to substitute this quantity in. We, we got to remember we're not get to avoid confusion with this n, the unit newton. And so, let's speed up through through this part. This term over here is when you multiply it out it's 200 newtons we're going to combine those with uh, bring it over and combine it with those 785 newtons that are multiplied by a quarter here anyways and when we collect terms and go through everything here we get that the p um, the, the magnitude of the force vector in the initial problem is 535 newtons and there's our solution so let's see what we can check from that.